Laravel or Django? What should I choose and why? If you're thinking about building a web application, you've probably asked yourself that question before. In an attempt to provide an answer, let's compare these two web frameworks. We'll focus on aspects like the learning curve, web performance, web development speed and much more. Let's begin. So what is the Laravel framework? It's a PHP web app framework created in 2011 by Taylor Otwell, released under the MIT license. It uses an MVC architecture and it is supposed to be the go-to solution for building content management systems. The MIT license means that you can reuse the code for any purpose, as long as you include the original copy of the license in your distribution. So what is a Django framework? It was developed by Django Software Foundation. This is a high-level web development framework written in Python. It was released in 2005 under a 3 clause BDS license. This means it's free with minimal requirements, like keeping the original copyright and acknowledgements in your project. It uses an MVT architecture and it is mainly used for complex applications. The main goal of this framework is to create an app in the shortest time possible. Now, let's see how these two compare to each other. If we talk about popularity, Django is a framework mainly used for web apps in the science, education, computer and electronics industries. If we look at the data available, in 2021 this framework had close to 56,000 stars on GitHub. Laravel, on the other hand, is primarily used in apps in the arts, entertainment, shopping and travel industries. When it comes to GitHub stars, Laravel has a total close to 64,000 stars. When it comes to the learning curve, Django is the easiest of these two, because it's based on Python and has a very intuitive syntax. On the other hand, Laravel has a steep learning curve. You need to know PHP at a beginner or even medium level, along with basic object-oriented programming. In the case of API support, Django doesn't have support to create REST APIs easily. The routing can be challenging, and developing APIs needs to be done by an experienced developer. In the case of Laravel, it has built-in support for generating APIs. This makes it easy to generate backend solutions for mobile development as well as front-end development at the same time. If we talk about speed, Python offers swift and speedy executions, making Django a lightweight framework. Additionally, with the support coming from the community, you can quickly address speed issues. On the other hand, Laravel has rich and robust features that can make the framework slower. To speed it up, you will need an experienced PHP developer. However, since PHP 8, there have been improvements, but Python still remains the fastest language so far. And lastly, from the point of view of the development time, Django has some built-in features through a series of batteries included in the framework. However, the functionality is beneficial if you need it the way it was developed. If you don't want to use the default option, you'll have to hassle a bit. Laravel, however, has built-in functionalities along with a consistent third-party package community. Therefore, standard behavior from routing, CRUD, building an authentication system and API development happens fast. So in the end, which one is better, Laravel or Django? And to understand the capabilities of Laravel, we will use a case study from Digitalia called ClientZen. ClientZen is a customer experience management platform built for business-to-business -business digital agencies. It uses AI to measure client happiness in real time, generating accurate personality insights and actionable items to improve your NPS score. The challenge was providing a solution that gathers customer feedback in real time based on AI and machine learning, while delivering accurate insight and suggestions to increase client happiness and even generate new business opportunities. The solution was to build a web app that integrated the most commonly used means of communication, like Gmail, Slack and Outlook, and to provide accurate feedback based on sentiment analysis. The platform generates personalized profiles for each customer while still being 100% GDPR compliant. So how was Laravel beneficial in this project? Well, first and foremost, the fast bootstrap, REST API. The team needed a framework to develop a REST API for the project that was secure, since ClientZen is dealing with user data, easily iterated in order to keep the app scalable, 
and also familiar. It provided easy integration with external service providers or platforms and made use of Laravel official packages. The most used in this project were Horizon, to make it possible to analyze the feedback from multiple users at the same time, Cashier, subscription management on Stripe, Eloquent, easy to use powerful ORM, and Composer, a package manager. In the end, they made use the most out of Laravel's great community and adoption. In a nutshell, Laravel is very useful if your project needs REST API capabilities or if you have custom software development needs. Django, on the other hand, can provide a faster time to market if you have a lot of default behaving functionalities compatible with the framework. Thank you for watching, and we hope this information helped you decide between the two frameworks.